Hello, welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis for the Common Sense Expansion, where I am doing absolutely nothing. I am working on, we have gained a core province, good. I am working on expanding, let's see here, I'm kind of, I'm working on increasing my trade value in the Beijing province here, because I think I believe that will give me the most kind of bang for my buck maybe i don't know probably not i'm kind of wondering whether oh i can build a stock exchange or a trade depot i'm kind of wondering whether if i were to absorb meow right now whether i would make significant amounts more money than i'm currently making but I'm like looking at like all of these provinces and they all have all, well a lot of them except for like Meow's core provinces like all the ones that used to belong to Wu all have like significant amounts of autonomy like 67% autonomy mm -hmm. which means they're basically worth no money <laughs> And it would take a long time to bring that autonomy down. In fact, I should probably look at my autonomy and see if there's anything I need to lower. Lower that one. Oh, yeah. All of this stuff that I absorbed from. What is this costing me to lower this? Is it? Uh, costing me anything to lower this? No, no, not not really. Okay, goods produced is two point six value of trade goods. So, all right, your goods produced is equal to your base production plus my textile manufacturing. So that gives me. So I guess plus one is pretty good. And then, so your value of your trade goods plus your local goods produced is equal to your trade value. So, okay, so, all right, so the, so wool is worth 1.75 a unit. All right, so, oh, that means I should go over to, where's this, where's, uh, what province do I have, am I building gold in? Probably all over my... the place. Though gold, gold is kind of different than gold. Isn't the same as regular trade yeah. goods. Um, Cause gold goes directly into your money. Like gold gets converted directly to money. Yeah. It actually has no trade value. Yeah. It also increases inflation, I believe. Yes. I've actually been keeping my inflation down. Well, yeah, yeah. me too. Okay. Oh, uh, let's take. So, oh, you know what? I've got some sort of. I got like a Chinaware bonus, don't I? Yeah. So what? Yeah, Chinaware is only worth. You know what? China's market. Chinaware's market value is worth only a buck fifty. Wow, grain is worth two. Expecting that to be the lowest. I almost have my Kerbalan ideas finished. Ooh, my I, national ideas. I, oh, okay. So I already got I a weapons idea manufactory. Group. So, all right. So my trade value is that trade power. So then... Hold on. Oh, Tibet. You don't belong to anybody. So, the question is... Should I... Oh, you don't have any allies either. Is this my city? Yeah, it is. So, I can build...
So I can build a weapons manufactory here. And this, oh, this is, well, it's in Gurin. I control a lot of Gurin. Actually, I could do some, let's see here. What, what's, what do I got in here? Oh, I got more Chinaware here. Chinaware is only worth a buck fifty. What does, ooh, that's cloth. Cloth is worth, ooh, silk is, silk is worth five. Why does it say goods produced only 0.8? Should I only get one out of all that? Mm hmm. Catholic zealots. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> what? My aunt? No. <laughs> Where? <laughs> what province do I have that would have ever been Catholic? Oh, this little island I took from Castile ages ago. Okay. That that makes sense actually. All right. So here's what I've 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 gathered here. Okay. So your so the the, the trade value is basically equivalent is is basically like a a, a GDP equivalency. All right. So, okay. So imports are always good for GDP, which is why pushing trade out is or, or pushing trade in is is good and trade going out is bad because okay. exports are bad for your GDP. So, so for example, the they're basically like take the Nippon uh, trade node here. All right, so basically what they're saying is that its total GDP is worth twelve dollars and and forty six cents, or you know, 1246, whatever units we're, we're calling. Mm -hmm. So your trade power then is what percentage of that GDP you get based on whatever things you have in there that increase your, your power over that particular zone. So the more goods you produce, like for example, take, uh, take, uh, what was it? Silk here. So the more goods you produce, Obviously, you can then sell them more, and so so initially you'll get that initial money from selling them, but then that money is circulating through your economy, mm -hmm. and then thusly generating more GDP, and that's where your trade power kind of comes in, I guess. If that makes sense. Sure. Yes. I'm. Pretty certain that's what they're trying. I, it just kind of dawned on me as to what that's what they're trying to uh, to simulate here, I guess. So what what else is worth a lot? Um, gold is technically worth nothing. Sugar, sugar's worth two fifty. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, should I get admin tech? Are we gonna be going to war anytime soon? Uh, I'm at war with Tibet at the moment, but. Um, I'm going to say probably not this episode. Okay. So maybe next recording session. Or, ooh, I can get humanist ideas and that's going to get me 25% religious unity. A humanist mm. is a good idea to group to take. Taking humanist and taking that very first, that 25% religious unity basically solved almost all of my unrest problems. Yeah, I just took that because I'm like, that's going to solve a lot of unrest. So uh, Beijing is producing grain here. We don't really care about Beijing all that much. You see, like like Beijing, you want to increase the trade power in, obviously, because that's where everyone goes to market. Uh, yeah, like Beijing's trade power here is 42%. Your game is no longer in sync. Error code November 948. Just give it a second. Okay. Um, I can... Did you pause it? I did not. Well, it paused automatically. Did you... Is What is your option? Is it just like click okay? Okay, it says one, quit and rejoin with hot join. Two, ask the server to rehost the game. Three, continue playing with a corrupt game state. Not recommended. Will like most likely result just in a... Just click continue. All right, and I'm going to unpause. 
Yeah, it's probably fine. It can get that can happen sometimes, but usually it kind of fixes itself. Yeah, we've had that happen pop up before. We're also like, oh, and when you upgrade a building, it doesn't take up a building slot. What's that? I said when you upgrade a building, it doesn't take up a building slot. What do you What do you mean? Like, so when I upgraded from my marketplace to my trade depot. Is that upgrading? I thought that was just building another building. No, because it didn't take up a building slot. Oh, Oh, and that's why. Okay, so that's why. And that's why a stock exchange is only 106. Okay. That's why when I tried to build a, when I looked at building a cathedral, like some of these places, it's like significantly less amount of money than Mm -hmm. like if I'm building a temple. Yes. Okay, I see. I I get that now. So, like, if I were to build a temple in this province, it's plus 0.13 gold a month. Yes. But if I were to build the cathedral, it's plus 0.2. Yeah. But, like, the province next to it that already has a temple, a cathedral is only plus 0.06 because it already has that 13 or whatever. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense that those are all it's a stack and it's a stacking bonus. So, well, they I mean, yeah, I mean, they're not all all of these buildings aren't upgrading across the board, but a lot of them are. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I see. There's if you look at the building screen, there's little arrows. Yeah, there's arrows, yeah. I see. That makes a lot of sense. Um, all right, to bet but Tibet, then, you are going to be my vassal. Let me grab a city. Oh, I can only make you a protectorate? Mm. Oh, Garin here. Garin has 20 trade power, even though the trade value is oh, Let's shit. make you a protectorate. Uh, I guess. Why? Why do I care that Afghanistan declared war on Chagatai? All right. Well, I have made because of my Western ways. Mm. Um, I can no longer take new vassals that aren't Western themselves. Ah. So, Tibet is a protectorate. Huh. How come a university doesn't... It, it decreases local development cost. And that's it. Um, It also adds a building slot. I so guess. So, basically, the university doesn't... Okay, it doesn't take a building slot, basically. Yeah. So, it's a building that doesn't take a building slot. Uh, but it decreases development costs. That's actually pretty good um, because every time you develop a province, the cost of development goes up. Okay. Um, it doesn't, I mean, like, it doesn't, it obviously doesn't actually um, matter all that much given, you know, how far in the game we are. Yeah. I'm actually really curious as to what the most developed countries are development let's sort by development you actually have more development than i do not by much by like 10 Mm -hmm. um and ottomans have you beat by like 150 oh so you know what so let's go to these places where we're built we've got silk and I can increase the local goods produced by upgrading it here. So if I spend 51 diplomatic points, I'll get 0.2 and then plus some additional monthly income. So we'll- oh, sweet. All right. What, uh, steward report, total, tra- okay, trade efficiency, blah, blah, blah. Accept a culture threshold. Okay, I finished my um, my national ideas. That's pretty good. Changed my accepted culture threshold around. 
Um, cool, I guess. Um, let's look at the culture map mode. Not really sure how to read the culture map mode. I'm assuming green is my culture. So central tie. I'm guessing this blue is accepted cultures. But then I've got like this dark green or... I really don't, I really don't know how to read this map mode. Um, is there... Is, this, is it silk in Jinan? Yes, it is. Is there somewhere where I can see I thought what are accepted cultures and what are not? Gain 10 prestige, gain... I gain, oh, gain 10 prestige. Can never have enough prestige. Okay, interesting. Oh, that is not mine. Actually, I probably am due for a reduction in... Oh, yeah, I am due for a reduction in inflation. It's actually probably why my monthly income All is All right, so where high. is this province at? Um, Yik, Chang, where where are you at? You're th okay. Interesting. All right, so maybe I don't know. Maybe changing the culture in some of these. Might be a good idea. I I really don't know. Okay, sure. Spend all my Diplo points. That's that's fine. Why not? Not going to war just yet. Anyways, um, I really don't have any missions that I want to mm -hmm. do. Oh, where's the revolt? And oh, actually, we could take that mission. Oh, it's a Ming. Although revolt. I'm just gonna feed it to to Bat, so maybe we won't take that mission. Actually, yeah, my inflation got kind of high, so I'm betting that's yeah, why. I mean, it it's gonna slowly go up over time. Uh, mine was like around seven percent. I mine was never. That high, oh, yeah. I don't I mean, recall. Yeah. I mean, there's some events that can make it go yeah. high as well. Huh. All of a sudden, my money per month is kind of high. Mm. I don't really know what changed Do you have any that trade? from being like two a month to being 18 a month. That's Act like drastic. Uh, if you have like a trade ship that like just arrives off of like I don't a... have any trade ships. Ah, uh, I dismantled. Well, I didn't dismantle. I mothballed all of my boats because they were costing way too much money to maintain. Because I had like a hundred and fifty boats. I got gotcha. you. Apparently, a hundred and fifty. Boats and a uh, 235 regiment army is expensive. Who would have thought? Oh, at this rate, before I get to war with the Oriot, or by the time I'm done the war with Oriot, it'll be time to go to war with the Wu again. Mm -hmm. How are your tech levels coming? Um, I am at, uh, Admin Tech 17, Diplo 23, Military 21. That's not great. No, it's I not. I thought you'd be catching up faster on military. Uh, 
I'm mad. Well, I mean, it's it's understandable that you're so far behind yeah. on admin. Admin's like the thing almost everybody is far behind on because mm-hmm. it costs admin points to core provinces. Um, so, like, I'm at admin 21, Diplo 25, and military 27. Mm-hmm. I'll be interested to see how this stuff converts when we uh move over to the mod because i did load this map up once accidentally in the mod and like a whole bunch of stuff had changed (laughs) so hopefully uh it transfers over fine otherwise it's gonna get a little weird All right, gained another province while we were sleeping. What do I got here? Send one there. We can send a settler there. Can't send one there. What what is that? Oh, that's... Yeah, you're really uh, blobbing across the north of Siberia there, aren't you? Hey, if Russia's not doing it, I will. Yeah. I mean, at this rate... Um, like the next recording session, you'll be bordering Russia. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my son, actually, I think you only gained like three this time. Um, like three or four. Yeah. I, yeah. I started like I, when we started this recording session, Brayida wasn't, I didn't surrounded, have it surrounded. Yeah. 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 But you get down in here and there's a handful of like smaller mm-hmm. provinces, like bordering the Orient here. Mm hmm. You know what? Let's see. Let's see how fast we can do this here. Because uh, you're currently... I'm back up to 165k. Uh, yeah, I'm at my maximum manpower cap now. So probably, yeah, next recording session, it will be war with the Orient. I'm going Assuming to, I remember. I'm <laughs> fabricating a claim against uh, Hiaxi right now. Hmm. I just have, like, CBs with all of our neighbors. I probably have a CB with you, honestly. I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, Let's see here. How can I... I have CBs with a lot of people. All right. Nationalism... Wait, why am I looking at you? I want to look at my country. Um, I have a nationalism against Meow. And then imperialism against, like, the rest of the world. Including you. Mm. <laughs> really? Mm. Yep. You probably have one against me as well. Eh, you probably, probably have an imperial... Uh, an imperial CB against me. I wonder if I still have the imperial... C- CB. Yep, yep, I still have the Imperial CB against Wu. Uh, but that's it for this episode. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for some more EU4. Thanks for watching. Bye.